hey guys so we're back with another video so this time I will be making some predictions after watching the Naruto um, Boruto manga and something came up to me very very abruptly and it all started when Sasuke went to the Kaguya's Dimension Temple now throughout the run of the monthly manga of the Boruto the very first episode of the Boruto episode um, when they started mentioning Momoshiki and Kenshiki we saw a statue of a um, a Sosuke king right so another thing that started popping up to me is that when Sasuke also started you know they started revealing more of the Kara organization members and that each member carry a significant role right um but other than that we didn't got introduced into like the cyborgs that even outside of the um organization while in the manga if people that follows the manga realize that um momoshiki also mentioned um other osutskis that were at play during the whole coming to earth type of stuff right so not only in the manga but also in the anime we saw that Sasuke went to the Kaguya's dimension and that's when he saw um, Ishiki absorbing energy from a different type of tentails right but at the same time even in the manga they introduced us to two different Utsutsukis and that automatically gave me a connection to the carvings that Sasuke found at the Kara organization base and when I started connecting the dots I realized that the Asutsuki that we saw you could even say that the Asutsukis were right in front of us the whole time sometimes the writer will put subliminal messages into their writings you just gotta find them so what I end up finding that during the whole finding organization and like I said in the stone tablet we saw that each symbol that represent and then the ones that were carved out so just getting to the point what if I tell you that the two missing Asuskis are right in front of us this whole time what I mean by that they are introduced into a different way which is one of them which we already know in the manga is called Ada and then her brother Damien the reason why I'm asking people to believe what I'm about to say to them is this don't you find it strange that those two Asuskis were slightly introduced but then we got introduced to uh, the two androids and those two androids are like very overpowered and on top of that they both have an ability that's very um they complement each other like um Ada has the Siri gun which could make you fall in love with her and could foresee anything that she was born in without if anything that preordains her she can't see and then Damien he could reflect any type of attack that is threatening right so what if I tell you that the main reason why Ada wants Kowaki or Boruto is because they basically just basically trying to recreate a new type of child or species a new species of Usutsuki because I feel as if both of them carry um, karma they both carry the karma mark as well but I think those two Amado probably killed or find a way to kill those two Osutskis and then carve their names out and gave the powers to um, Damien and um, Ada. That's what I'm thinking because the way I'm seeing it, I feel as if that, that could be a possibility. That is one of my predictions. I feel as if the reason why Amado is shocked to see Ada and Damien, or mostly Ada, is that he probably know the history of how she got the Siri gun and her brother having the ability to reflect any ability as long as the ability is not harmful so I think the abilities of those two Asuskis alone 
had the ability to one of them could reflect and they could foresee things because we already know that um, Momoshiki could foresee um, techniques or he could at a point he could tell people's future right what if that power plays along with the Seri gun as well because when he brought Boruto back to life in the manga even Ada didn't know what happened that fixed the problem to bring back Boruto so if you look at the connection between those two Osuskis we saw that the Osuski on the right um left looks like Damien and then the one on the right looks like Ada with the dark circle so I'm thinking those two powers Amado end up killing those two Otsutsukis and giving those power to the androids thus making them overpowered because those two Otsutsukis are kind of like sibling duels Otsutsukis compared to the Otsutsukis that we saw before so let me know what you guys think do you guys think that that could be a possibility that you know the main reason why Ida Ada really needs Kawaki or Boruto in the first place is to recreate the perfect form of Sutsuki because I feel they have half of the Jogun power or ability so let me know what you guys think that's a theory that I have in my head um, make sure you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye